Donald Trump is furious that he has been linked to project 2025, both through his words and his actions. And the fact that most of the people who wrote the quote mandate for leadership, which is what project 2025 is officially called, happen to be former, sometimes even current staffers of his. So it was written mostly by his people, by an organization that he has full throatedly uh, uh, supported over the years. But nevertheless, Trump knows that project 2025 is deeply unpopular with a, with a majority of American voters. So the other day he got on truth social and said that he is threatening Kamala Harris with a lawsuit. If she continues to run ads, linking him to project 2025. Here is what this lunatic, the convicted felon lunatic said on truth social. Lion Kamala Harris, who refuses to do interviews or press conferences because she has no idea how to answer the questions uh, and is now losing in the polls. Okay. She is doing interviews and she's beating you in the polls. So just wanted to make that point clear. So I don't have to come back to it later. Continues to make a thing called project 2025, the central theme of her campaign, advertising and all. Lion Kamala has been informed legally that I have and had nothing to do with it. Never read it, never saw it, but her ads continue full blast. When you see them talking about project 2025, remember Kamala is, a, is lying just like she lied about working at McDonald's. She didn't, uh, or added 818 new jobs that didn't exist, a fraud and so many other lies, just like San Francisco and California itself. She would if given the chance completely destroy our country. So she has been informed legally that Trump has nothing to do with it. Really? Do we, do we need to remind you, Donald? Do we need to show it? I think we need to show it. Here is the clip of Donald Trump from uh, 2022. I believe it is at the heritage foundation talking about how they are putting together the groundwork for his next administration. Take a look. The critical job of institutions such as Heritage is to lay the groundwork, and Heritage does such an incredible job at that. This is a great group, and they're going to lay the groundwork and detail plans for exactly what our movement will do and what your movement will do when the American people give us a colossal mandate to save America. And that's coming. That's coming. So after video review, Donald. It would appear that you know everything about project 2025 and have known about it literally for years. And you were praising them. You even use their same language by pointing out once we have the mandate from the American public. And of course, project 2025 is officially called mandate for leadership, right? So you're even using their language. You knew about it. You knew about it two and a half years ago when you were up on that stage, praising heritage foundation, president, Kevin Roberts, by the way, your running mate also wrote the foreword for Mr. Roberts book that was delayed. So as not to interfere with your election and undercut your claims. So if you do have lawyers that are on your staff that have threatened Kamala Harris, um, then those are probably the biggest charlatans I've ever heard of in the legal profession. You have no case. You literally can't even sue her for this one, because the video evidence proves everything she has ever said about project 2025, along with the fact that it's all your friends, even your current staffers have cut promotional videos for project 2025. Okay. But even if none of that had happened, you still couldn't sue her for it. Because one of the most protected forms of speech in this country, where you can literally lie your face off and never face any repercussions for it is in political advertising. I mean, she could run ads right now saying that you go around kicking puppies and you probably still would not be able to sue her for it. Not to mention, aren't you the guy who just a couple days ago, not in an ad, but at a campaign rally said that she was quote born mentally disabled. Now that is actually an actionable phrase. So she could sue you, but you have no case to sue her. So if you want to play this game, if you want to get in there, the convicted felon versus the prosecutor in court, please do. Like, I would love to see that happen because Harris is not going to be the one paying the price for it when it's all over. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please 
Don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.